Praise be unto his glorious name wherever you are. Well, why don't you celebrate him right now and give him all the glory and adoration? Well, wherever you are, you are welcome to the December Global Communion Service. Someone was asking on the platform if it was a praise night. Or we had turned it into a praise night. And there's a reason for that. But I believe that now it's time to share the word of God with you to enlighten you on knowledge, on facts about the end of the Bible that will push you forward and that will catapult you to the next level of Christianity. Hallelujah. Shall we pray as we begin? Our wonderful global communion service in the Word of God. It's a blessed day and it's a blissful day to be here. And as always, I am very, very excited to be in the presence of the Lord to share this day with everybody connected. And um, if you know there are more people that they need to get connected, please connect them now to the service before. I begin to share because today's message is one of the most urgent messages that I've shared ever in the history of the Love Arena Church. This is going to talk to us very much and I believe that we should all learn from it as it is something that we have to learn from and adapt to keep away and to keep like shift it away from us, far away from us. All right, and I'm going to share with you an experience, but today, um, based on what the month is, I won't be telling you anytime soon, but based on what the month is, we are going to be talking about memories, memories. So I hope you have your Bibles ready. I hope you have connected everyone you wanted to connect because I am about beginning. All right, if you've done all of that, then let us pray. Our Heavenly Father who art in heaven, we thank you for the opportunity that you've given to us to be here today. It is not by our might and by our power, but it is by the Spirit of the living God that we have the opportunity, the grace and the ability to be here today in this season, in this time and in this hour. We love and we adore you. We give you all the glory, the adoration with thanksgiving and praise. Father Lord, we ask that you come to enlighten us with your divine knowledge from wherever, at any time, every day, even after this service, may you continue to enlighten us, to give us different understandings and dimensions, to give us different understandings to today's service. Is what we desire different understandings that will continue to enlighten us and keep us in the will of the Lord day in and day out this is what we term or we say that you are the great God who also is and is to come and can do all things beyond imagination we love you O Lord and we adore you we give you all the glory, the adoration, and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. You may be seated in his glorious presence. Hallelujah. So, I'm going to be sharing with you today about a particular topic. And this topic is to enforce you, is to enforce you to be more conscious and intentional about life. The life that we live is a life that we are passing through. And this life is not just any simple life, but it is a life whereby we learn to move forward. Hallelujah. Are you there? So, I'm coming to show you something. 
a lot of scriptures a lot of scriptures way back in the book of genesis chapter 8 verse 1 let's go to chapter 7 then we'll come to chapter 8 so chapter 7 chapter 7 and um and the verse number 21 in the new living translation chapter 7 and the verse number 21 chapter 7 and the verse number 21 math a uh, sorry genesis chapter 7 and the verse number 21 i'd always like to show the beginning so that you have a clear basis on what is going on here at this moment in time. Genesis 7, 21. And it says, in fact, I want a specific part to show you something particularly. Then we move on from there to the key word that I want to notice in the scripture. Um... Okay, so this um this is about this is about the story of Noah who was saved by God and he heeded to the call of God to save other people along with him. So it was about the time when Noah was going to build the ark to save people because God was coming to flood the world. So it was like rapture happening, but not exactly it. So he preached and people made fun of him. The giants and everybody made fun of him. But he did not stop. Here is something that I want to notice. We are going to be reading from verse 17 to the ending verse, which is verse 24. Then we'll enter into verse 8. Uh, chapter 8 and the verse number 1. And I'll show you a key word that I will want you to notice. Genesis 7 and the verse number 17. It says, For forty days the flood waters grew deeper, covering the ground and lifting the boats high above the earth. As the waters rose higher and higher above the ground, the boats floated safely on the surface. Finally, the water covered even the highest mountains on the earth. Rays came more than 22 feet above the highest peaks. All the living things on the earth died. Birds, domestic animals, wild animals, small animals that carry along the ground and all the people. Everything that had breathed and lived on dried land died. God wiped out every living thing on the earth. People, the livestock, small animals that scary along the ground and the birds of the sky all were destroyed. And the only people who survived were Noah and those with him in the boats. Hallelujah. I hope you are listening. So be attentive at this time. It says, and the flood waters covered the earth for 150 days. Verse 8 and the uh, chapter 8 and the verse number 1. And then it said, And God, or but God, remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock. Do you see that? But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock with him in the boat. He sent a window to blow across the earth. Sorry, he sent a wind to blow across the earth and the flood waters began to recede. Hallelujah. There's a lot that this scripture tells us. And the reason I highlighted the remembered is because of this one reason only that we have to notice in our life. Today, I'm talking to you about memories and remembrance. 
memories and remembrance. In order for you to reach the latter one, that is remembrance, there is a step that must be taken to reach remembrance. That is a memory. Now, a memory is an action. Amen. A memory is an action that is reserved or that is acted out and the view of it is reserved in the mind of a person. So you may have a memory of when you went to the mall the other day and you remember it. So that's why there is memories goes in hand with remembrance. Memories goes in hand with remembrance. So always take notice of that. That memories goes in hand with remembrance. Hallelujah. Amen. Memories goes in hand with remembrance. Always take notice of that. Don't forget it. Because you need it along the way. Memories always go with remembrance. That's point one. Now, remembrance is one important part of our lives. Here's where the second point comes in. Number two, remembrance can either make you or break you. Remembrance is not a woman. Because there's the saying that goes that says, a woman can either make or break you. It is not the woman, but it is the character that can make or break you because they assess. I taught you in the Daughters of Eve camp, they assess. So therefore, they will remind you of their assessing that they made of this and that situation. So that is what can either make or break you. But the idea over there is that remembrance, she remembered to remind you before it makes or breaks you. So it is really the character, not the woman herself. Hallelujah. It is not the woman herself. It is the character that makes or breaks you. Are you listening to me? So that is what you should notice. That remembrance can either make or break you. There are some memories that will come into your head. In fact, there are some memories that don't go because the action that was placed or that was done or what happened. So whatever happened, if it was done by a person, if it is something that occurred naturally or if it is something that occurred, there are some actions that will forever stay in your head and you cannot forget about it. For example, the death of a person. You cannot forget about it, especially if that person is your relative or somebody you are very close to. You cannot, you will not, and even as much as you try, you will always re be reminded in the time when the person dies. Somewhere in this, the past month, I think November 26th or 29th, one of them, Um, many, many years back in 2014, I was much younger, my grandmother died. That memory has always stayed with me. I've always been reminded about her death. Believe me, I wouldn't want to tell you the story, but it's an example of a memory. An action happened. And then it stuck. And up to date, it remains in the mind as a memory. So every time, it can happen at every time or the specific time where the person left. So when it happens like that, there are likely to be things that will happen or that may come about. And you should be ready for them because they will. There are no exemptions. Remembrance can either make or break you. To everything, there's a consequence. To everything, the same way 
remembrance at times is good. At times, certain reminders, certain reminders. Someone, someone was expecting me to say remembrances. Certain reminders of things that have happened in the past aren't really necessary or should be deleted from the mind if possible. But it's not in a day, it's a process. Listen, you know, last week, around Monday morning, I had a certain thoughts about something and then it brought me back to cast my mind back about all the things that has happened in my life. So, I just sat there, and it sent me into a state of shock. Where the tears came from, I don't know. But it left after the tears, it just left me devastated. So, you most, most realize that I'm a person who smiles a lot. For me not to smile, then it means something great has happened. So many asked, what was wrong? I said it's nothing because I didn't want to share it out. I'm getting somewhere with this, so pay attention. Or I didn't want to let it go because the reminder of the thoughts was so strong that even I cannot beat it. And it is likely that if this is the intention of the devil in this month, it's going to happen to you and worse. Because if the leader is attacked, the disciples are also attacked. And that is where the leader has to come in. So it is right that the leader experiences it first before the other people. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, when I had this thought, it left me devastated. It left me smileless, laughless. I don't know if that is a word I don't care as well. But I'm explaining to you something, and you must pay attention. And it will all draw back to identity, memories, and remembrance. So we'll get somewhere to identity, and then you'd realize what this month is really about. Some are guessing what the month is going to be, if it's going to be the month of memories or the month of remembrance. Don't guess, just wait. <laughs> Hallelujah. December is always a month to remember. It is filled with joy. But not always is everybody's December filled with joy. Somewhere around last year, a friend of my mom died in December. Who would expect somebody to die around Christmas time? I think the person died and was buried in December. Either the person died in December and was buried in December, or the person died and they buried the person in December. I can't re really remember. It's quite scratchy. But that's a horrible memory. And it will continue to haunt you. Some memories are just there to bring you down. And it happened to me. It took away my smile. And some would ask, why didn't you read the word of God? Why didn't you pray? Why didn't you do this? I wanted to allow it to see how far it would go. At times, allow certain things to happen. I didn't say be naive, but allow certain things to happen so that you know the way they are, so that you know how you can prevent them. Are you getting it? Allow certain things to happen so that you can know the structure of what it is and how to neutralize it totally. So I allowed it.
So, and, and another thought in the process of this, in this week, just this week, came into my mind that maybe it's because I've not cried all these, all, all these months. I'm letting all down in the month of November into December. And I said, no, that can't be it. Because, to be very honest, for something to take away my smile hardly, nothing really hurts me. Really. It's either I will get mad at it, annoyed, or I will just walk away from it and act as though it's nothing. That's me. But for something to really take my smile away, that's big. And everybody noticed. So everyone asked. Now that's the type of attention I dislike in my whole life. Memories that will change your character and that will cause people to ask you what's wrong with you. That's attention that is like attention that does not attract people to Christ. Negative attention that does not attract people to Christ is what I dislike in my life. But still, in the process of this, I allowed it to see how far just it would go so that I could come and teach you about it so that it can be where, especially the SHS candidates who are going for, I think, two is it two weeks? I come back on 21st, so that should be two weeks, yes. A lot can happen in two weeks. Mine happened in a week. Yours can happen in two weeks. Yours can be the last week before you're coming back. Yours can be the week as you are going. Yours can be next week as you are there. It, it can happen in so many instances. That's why I'm enlightening you about this. So, it almost broke me. This thought, this thought or this memory that I had in my head, which I have remembered and keeps coming up every now and then, almost broke me to the extent where I said I wasn't going to church today. And I said, no, not that far. I will go. No matter how I'm feeling. And I did. And that's what had my smile back. I want to teach you something about your identity. Who you are now is very important to society. Your smile, your laughter, your attitude, your behavior, everything is important to society. Change just one of that and you'd realize how society would change. You'd realize how people would just start, the whole, the, everywhere you go, wherever you step, would start to change, will start to alter because something has altered in your identity. Identity is one thing that you can never, should never, not don't even think of messing with identity. And now that I'm looking back at it, that's what the devil wanted to do. Mess with my identity. My identity is a happy one. There's no day you would meet me and I'm not smiling. There's no day you'd meet me and I'm not approachable. I'm not saying it was a big deal, but to me, the amount of people that came to ask what was wrong was what got me thinking. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. It got me thinking that really amazing, an amazing discovery because I've not seen it before. Because rarely does anything ever happen to me that will affect me in that way. Now, don't call it depression. It's a memory. And number three, a memory which you are reminded of will have an impact and it can be positive or negative so it's not depression it's the impact of the memory that directed or altered my identity specifically i want to talk to everybody here 
You will remember this man so well. You will remember the people so, so well. Listen, there are certain instances in your life that I know that you cannot forget. I know it. There are certain things that people have done to you that you can never forget in your life. I know it. But I'm telling you, you will remember this man so well. And it is either this man will have a positive impact on you or a negative impact. Don't let Satan destroy your Christmas. Are you hearing me? Don't let Satan destroy your Christmas. If I allowed it for one week, in three days it should be gone with you. Because I've detailed you on what it is like. When a memory has a positive impact on you, hmm, it will bring tears of joy to your eyes. But when it has a negative impact, the only thing it will bring to you is sorrow. It hurts. It's pain. A, re a reminder of the moment that that thing happened. So when whenever you're reminded of the people that have died, especially there was this time in the year, in the month of 2014, 2015, back then I was still young, where there was a large accident, I think in the place of circle or something, and a, a gas explosion or a, a gas filling station explosion or something. And it is remembered. People remember that day. They remember the way that the, the thing took place. Reminders are brought up. Number four. A memory can be remembered by a use of an item. Be mindful of the things that you allow near you. Be mindful of the things that are around you specifically. Do you understand what I'm saying? Be mindful of the things that are around you. For example, if somebody dies right now, whenever you see their dress hanging there and they are not there, you will be reminded about the person, the characteristic, the physique of the person. You'd be so reminded and you'd ask yourself, did this person have to go? And it will bring you to tears. Those tears are tears of sorrow, are tears of compassion. But if you allow those tears to alter your identity, and how your identity alters by tears is very amazing. Funny enough, whenever you cry, there is a depletion or a reduction of the spirit that is in you. So it means your spirit is low. Hallelujah. When this happens, the devil is around. He has realized that the power that you have, the strength that you have, that's not what's necessary to you right now. What you're crying about is what's necessary. So he's going to come to play. Right then, then influences. And that is so that's why when you cry, there are, there are more things that will come in your head that will influence you to cry. You think I don't cry? Or you think I've never shed a tear before in my life? Believe me, I've shed a lot. That's why I'm detailing you about how to eliminate these things. Listen, whatever happens in this month, make sure that it's a good memory. Anything that will bring about a bad memory, my dear, delete it. Delete that memory as fast as you can because it is it will destroy you. Because this particular month you'd remember so you'd remember so many things. So so many. You'd remember so many of them. Like I said, a memory can be remembered by the use of an item. If for example, some way, somehow, you know spirits are around. If you have the ears to listen, they are there. If you allow the spirit and the spirit comes to you, says whatever it pleases and it goes, 
whatever impact that it has on you is from the spirit and you allowing it is basically you it is either you allow or disallow it it's one of them so it's really you who is going to choose at the end of the day whether to allow it or whether not to a memory can be um, remembered by something a use of an item so for example all my clothing everything that i own if god should catch me up into heaven now i will not die i'll be translated into heaven like elijah glory to god and i hope you all are too not to say full now cause but then again um <laughs> do you understand but i'm just letting you know that a memory you can remember something by the use of an item so if i'm caught up into heaven and then my clothes are left here people will remember once upon a time this guy used to preach the guy who was sitting here the guy who was online the guy who spent so much of his hours online talking about the word of god he's now gone it is either it will leave you in tears of joy or tears of sorrow it may leave you in tears of joy because you know you listened but it will leave you in tears of sorrow if you do not listen and you despise me Do you understand what I'm saying? In this month, protect your identity like you are protecting the Empire State Building. Like they're giving you something really urgent to protect. Because, listen, the devil does not go on retirement in the month of December. He still works. If you don't know, I'm letting you know that he does not stop working in the month of December, he will still work, and he will not stop. He will stop at nothing to help or to get you to lose your identity. It's not going to end. So get ready and get prepared. That is why I am enlightening you. And like I said, if you are a leader and you, for, of a group of people, allow me. If you are a leader of a group of people, eventually, if something very urgent is about to happen, it will happen to the leader first before the group of people so do not be surprised about what i'm telling you do not be surprised about what is going to come believe me you remember things you like i said whatever you do in this month you remember so vividly make sure all these things that you're going to remember they are of good caliber and quality or else if it's a bad thing you will continue to shed tears of sorrow forever and know every December that comes you are not you are going to remember it and always tear up and it will always be tears of sorrow and that's where the devil would act because I've taught you that your spirit depletes it reduces so when it reduces it also the devil also has the chance to come around influence you to cry more that is where he's destroying the things in the kingdom of God Some would say, but some who are really close to me will say, but it was just a day ago that this guy, listen, yesterday as I was sitting there, pondering over that thoughts, that came to me on Monday morning. And the Lord told me, if, listen, when you are in a mood like that, or when you are not responding to anything, or when you find yourself in a situation like I, I did, Know that the Lord doesn't stop talking to you. It is you who decide to stop listening to the Lord. So if you stop listening to him, that is what's going to happen. But I didn't stop. I was always, I opened my ears to hear anything that any, anyone was saying. Then the Lord said, you remember the times of prayer last month? This is its result. The ball is in your courts. And I knew exactly what that meant. 
So I'm not surprised I'm this happy today. Really. Because, listen, it's coded. But let me let you understand. When we were this, when I said we had tilted the kingdom of darkness, did you think that he would leave us alone? No. He will not. He has to do everything to eliminate that character that give you the power, that give you the authority to turn the kingdom of darkness upside down. To tilt the kingdom of darkness. You think doing that global day of prayer of 27 good hours wouldn't come with a repercussion? Did you really think that? No. It will in this. And conquered we have. So, beware. This month, the devil has targeted so vividly. Whatever memory. Whatever memory. That you create in this month. Make sure it's a good one. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help you to create good memories this month. Not bad memories that you'd remember for eternity. Are you hearing me? Let me show you a scripture. Philippians. The book of Philippians. Let's go to chapter 4. And the verse number 13. In fact, before we even go there, there's something that I want to show you. Um, let's use the King James Version now because it has specific words that I want you to notice over there. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10. Before we go to Philippians 4, 13. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and the verse number 10. What does it say? It says, Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So truly, this was an expression of strength. You want a different translation, I'll give it to you. Amplified classic. What does it say? It says, for, so for the sake of Christ, I am well pleased. And take pleasure in infirmities, insults, hardships, persecutions, Perplexities, oh, Brafono Dawson. I'm looking for something simple that you can understand. Let's use the Good News translation. I think that's quite easy to understand. It says, I am content with weaknesses, insults, the insults, the insults, hardships, persecutions, and difficulties. But when I am weak, then I am strong. So it says, I am content. Someone will ask themselves, who in their right mind would be content with insults? Who in their right mind would be content with insults? Think about it. It is only the people of God. That is why we are peculiar people. That is why we are different from the others. And that is why we must prove our difference. That's why I taught you on being different. Do you understand what I'm saying? Create good memories this month. And whatever memory that you create, make sure it's a good one. That when you remember, it will bring tears of joy. True joy to your spirit. One way I advise you to do that mainly is to stay with God. In every circumstance, in every moment of depression, Stay with God. 
if I am sharing my experience with you and I am this energized about it, you can ask everybody around me. This wasn't how I was the whole week. If I am sharing this with you, this should be a testimony for you. This should be an empowerment. Before something happens to the group of people, something must happen to the leader. That is the job of a leader. And that's why many people don't take the ability or the stance of a leader. But it's okay. Because we who understand the true meaning of leadership will take it up to do what is right. Never forget these words that I'm telling you. The memories you have in your head today, I would not advise you to assess them. Leave some, forget them. The ones before you, I don't even think of assessing it. Like I said, everybody has the power to assess. Every man has the power to assess. I'm going to be sharing with you more in the sense of Adam Khan. That will be when our channel is released because the, I think the old channel, the Peko Energy has been blocked due to suspension reasons. We've created a new Love Arena Church channel. But anyway, that aside, I'm going to be teaching you more in the camp. The camps will be uploaded later on when the channel has resumed. I'm sure that will be in the week of ISMLC because it's two weeks. So last uh, last week, so plus this week and then next week. So I think next week, next week is the ISMLC. I'm, I'm positive. I'm sure, yeah, next week is the ISMLC. Let me confirm. Then we move on with what I'm saying. Yep, next week is the ISMLC and the beginning of Cell Ministry Week 2023. But anyways, what I'm sharing with you, take it to notice. Don't forget about it. This month is for somehow, I don't know how best to explain it for you to understand, but it's going to stand out than all the other Decembers that you've experienced during your time of living. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's going to stand out more than every other time. Every other December that you've experienced on the face of the planet is going to stand out. That's why I said create good memories. And memories that will not bring you sorrow when you think about them. It should bring you joy. True joy that will bring you to tears. Joy that brings you to tears. That is what is called tears of joy. Create good memories. Create them with God. Stay with God and let him direct you as to how to create memories. When the Lord directs you to go here, instead of going here, maybe you want to go out. There's something wrong with going out. But maybe the Lord tells you that go to here or go to this mall instead of this mall. And then you realize that you go here, it's not that good. Before you now confirm, no, that's a waste of time. Don't lose what I'm telling you. Secondly, your identity. Don't lose it because it is really memories that influence or form up your identity or that alters your identity. Your identity is solely built by the Lord. It is something originally is a mechanism that is built by the Lord. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is a mechanism that is built by the Lord. Are you listening to me? It is a mechanism that is built by the Lord. So it's really your choice to choose between God's mechanism and Satan's mechanism, all the world's mechanism. Hallelujah. Don't forget your identity. Whatever memory that you remember, First of all, before you even assess that memory, when you remember something, something happens first. It's either you think about the details of the things that happened in the moment. Don't do that. If you know from the title or the memory, at times you can just remember something. Oh, oh, maybe last year around somebody here died. Don't think about what went on there. Don't even assess the actions, the words that people said to you in that time. If you know it's going to have a negative impact and bring you to tears, please, 
and please again don't go further to think about it because it will alter your identity greatly and boy would you leave a mark a mark it shall leave greatly so do the right thing today stay in the right path with god be in the right lineage are you hearing me be in the right place with god let not your identity be altered if your identity will be altered let it be altered with good memories if you want to keep your identity i wish i knew this earlier if you want to really keep your identity go to the word of god it will remind you about the promises of jesus christ this month you will remember so much i'm telling you you will remember so much these words that i'm sharing with you they may seem meaningless to a point right now but you will remember one day just one day one day you will remember what impact will it have on you is the question this is all i can say to you that will empower you and put strength in you to give you that ability to know where to go and where not to go what is right and what is not right for the love and the prosperity of god control your memories control what you remember control what you assess before i even close the meeting or before i close up what i'm saying because i am rounding up at times when certain thoughts come ask yourself why is it coming at this moment or season in time before you even assess it i was too quick to assess that's the mistake i made that's why it took this long else it wouldn't have i would have shared with this with you at the camp or at the conference hey and sorry i would have shared this with you at the um conference or at midweek service i would have shared it with you at one of them i was too quick to ass assess but assess really why is this thing coming at this point in time that is the main question why is it coming at this point at this particular point at this date at this hour at this time why is it coming now i was too quick to assess the thoughts and to think really that was my mistake don't make the same mistake really I, no i'm actually being serious don't make the same mistake assess why it is coming at that time so when the thoughts jumps in immediately you ask yourself wait before you even assess anything why is it coming now what is its aim and purpose as to why i am remembering it at times you can remember somebody in a certain season and in a certain time when you check up on them you'd read most at times you find out that there's something wrong with the person at times you can check on somebody you can just you can just be sitting there someone you've not talked to maybe practically half of the year you know you've forgotten about it's not like you've really forgotten but you've not really spoken to the person in the year so all of a sudden you're just there and then you just remember the person and then you contact them and you realize that Oh, maybe it's either they are fine, but most at times you'd find out that they are not fine. When you really talk to them about life, how life has been going in the past few days and stuff like that, you'd realize that they are not fine. So you see, all these things count. Like I said, this man, keep a good account of it not because it's the last month of the year i'm not saying this because it's the last month of the year no ah now this is not what i shared last year i think i continued on a message that i was sharing from alo's church last year and i'm preaching a, a total different thing and even last year december was a global communion service and a praise night so you can identify these things when you see them as especially those who are going to school don't let these words pass you by i repeat don't let these words pass you by don't let these words pass you by 
Are you hearing me? Don't let these words pass you by. Be careful of the memories you are going to make there. You will return back in two weeks, but probably after these two weeks, you will go back again for a longer period of time. Let this message stay in your head. So, so the next three years. And so eternity. Because you need it. So whenever you are down, remember these things that I've told you about. And truly, a blessing you shall experience. Stand up to your feet and let us pray at this moment in time. Mando robo shimbra ilegens to rumble ides difra la castambra shasti legebende. Rabra de gro mosungre in the first to kaba ye go masangre in the mesungre le risto bradega manante rebledes do urumbre lige de shapra castu kabaka kraka tera. Razuram bradera masungre in a di grambe rubo shanda raka koza di ramradeza ruka tilambre rebre de grosto imadan so in a gestingre ile de zungre efa shambrani raso ke tela bradege de gro nike stabra la dizoni rebra shini bo soko tele brandi rako saka kabaye in a dizora de la madia remra name to bledi and dis do kura shabradi lako zele grebende leke de nambra de Gama song retista la brandi rako zala bra ile gestu kumbra kata ka li zora shambra de mosokote lira brande so brokali gamosto regre beshe le bresto kumakak delegede rabra shala brante ke bosonte membra de gama shala de sokra ka raso brada rabra de brumosha rekato rika basonde membra de gre mendo rubro de rabra dosa brandi rak. La de bra de gro masse rabo jamba da sha o kaba santa liga bashi robro de ga masongre de nambra de ga mashata li sopra tele bosto regle ne me songre di ga mashante nambra de ge mo sopra de regle be songre di ga masongre de salabaya raka songre da baya li zoro shelebe rako kase raba shalabante riko ba ye ke songre le gro makante regle be she Sokra ka li ma mo saka nambra dele mo sobre li zare le kestumbra akashanta raba basha la bata nambra dege mo shekete nambra dego sata dege besto le masi our father lord who acts in heaven we thank you and we praise your holy name for this moment in time that you've given to us to be here the knowledge the ability the strength to remember to have the ability to remember remember us lord in the difficult times remember us keep us guide us protect us from the snare of the devil pa from the things of the devil give us the guidance to create good memories this month with your orchestration and your leading but we have no god but you no we, we we only have you no other god there's no god greater than you this is why we say you are great we are thankful and we are appreciative for all that you've done for us and all that you do and all that you continue to do take all the glory lord the praise is yours. The thanksgiving is yours. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Okay, so we'll be taking the communion in a moment. But there's one more thing. And I was about to close the message. Don't sit yet. I was about to close the message without declaring what the month is going to be. So... I'm sure it's quite obvious right now. Well, if you do remember the um, latter part or the latter end of the message, you'd find out that it's, a, um, it's two words that have been combined together. It's memories and remembrance. So do you want to know what this month is? Do you want to know what this month is? 
Are you excited for what this month is going to be? Are you really excited about what this month is going to be? December 2023. In the Love Arena Church is going to be the month of remembrance. Hallelujah. December 2023 is going to be the month of remembrance. The Lord will remember you. And you will remember things. And may those things bring you true joy. In his glorious name. Welcome to December. The month of remembrance. Hallelujah. Oh, can you shout glory to the name of the Lord? Enjoy this month of remembrance. Remember others. I'm not saying remind them. Remember others. Remember them. All the people that you've forgotten about, remember them. Remember them. Keep them in thoughts. In Jesus' name. God bless you. You may be seated.